हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन इन्वर्टेड डिफरेंशियल यूट्यूब मैनोमीटर फॉर दैट वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन यर एज शोन इन फिगर द डायग्राम इज गिवन एन इन्वर्टेड डिफरेंशियल यूट्यूब मैनोमीटर इज कनेक्टेड टू टू पाइप ए एंड बी पाइप नंबर ए पाइप नंबर बी डिफरेंशियल यूट्यूब मैनोमीटर इज कनेक्टेड ऑफ इन्वर्टेड टाइप which convey water it means in both the pipeline there is water here we have water in pipeline b and the density is as we know for water it is 1000 kg per meter cube similarly in pipeline a we have water and again the density would be same that is 1000 kg per meter cube next we have to find the pressure difference between a and b how much would be the pressure difference between a and b so here the question is i'll write down in data we have to find out the pressure difference between pipeline a and b now how to solve this problem here as we see for this inverted differential youtube manometer water is there in the pipeline and another liquid is used which i have shown here this is oil having specific gravity 0.8 so once specific gravity is given we can calculate the density of this oil that density will be rho that is density of oil is equal to 0.8 into 1000 that is density of water so the density of oil would be 800 kg per meter cube now with these data available let us try to get the solution for this problem in solution i'll say that since first of all i'll calculate the level of oil in both the pipelines i'll say that since the level of oil in both the limbs is equal to now as we can see oil is there only in the right limb that is this xx is the reference line for us and below that reference line in the left limb we don't have oil below this line but in the right limb we have oil up to this level now this height i have to calculate how i can calculate that since i know the total height is 30 plus 20 that is 50 if from 50 i minus this 30 i would be getting this height of oil so here i'll write down that therefore this is equal to 30 plus 20 minus 30 so this comes out to be 20 cm or we can say 0.2 m so this much is the height of oil in the right limb now in order to calculate the pressure difference first i'll calculate the pressure that is total pressure in the left limb then i'll calculate total pressure in the right limb i'll equate equation 1 and 2 and get the answer so here i'll say that now therefore total pressure in the left limb it would be given by here we have pressure in pipeline a which is p suffix a then we have water up to a height of 30 cm in left limb so pressure exerted by water column that would be rho g into h since here we have water in pipeline a so i'll denote density as rho a next now one thing to note here is that a very important thing since we have inverted differential youtube manometer so instead of this plus sign here we have to write it as negative and this will be equal to the total pressure in the right limb now before that i'll calculate this value pressure at point a we don't know minus density of fluid in pipeline in the left here it is water 
so the density is 1000 into g is 9.81 multiplied by h the height of water in the left hand side it is up to 30 centimeter so that becomes 0 0.3 if i calculate this value it comes out to be it is pa minus 2943 so i'll keep this as my equation number 1 that is here i have calculated total pressure in the left limb similarly i'll calculate total pressure in the right limb now that will be equal to as we can see in the right limb we have water as well as oil so first starting from the pipeline your pressure in pipeline b minus because it is inverted differential youtube manometer then water is even there up to 30 centimeter height so pressure exerted by this 30 centimeter column that would be rho g into h next oil is filled up to the height that height we have calculated it is 20 centimeter so minus density of oil into g into its height so now this will be equal to pressure in pipeline b we don't know minus rho b that is the density of liquid in the pipeline b again it is water density is 1000 so that is 10 raised to 3 into 9.81 into h the height of water is 30 centimeter so it is 0 0.3 meter minus density of oil i have calculated in the data it is 800 kg per meter cube so 800 into 9.81 into the height of oil is 0 0.2 meter we have calculated previously so from this i would be having it as p suffix b value is minus 4512.6 i'll keep this as my second equation now if we look at the question they were telling us to get the difference in pressure so we can easily found, find it out by equating 1 and 2 I'll say that therefore equating equations 1 and 2 in the first equation we have PA minus 2943 is equal to in equation B we have pressure in B minus 4512.6 now therefore pa i'll bring pb onto the other side so it becomes negative it's equal to minus 4512.6 this term when it goes onto the other side it is positive so finally my answer of pa minus pb it comes out to be it is minus 1569.6 newton per meter square now very important conclusion here since my answer of pressure difference is negative it means it is vacuum pressure so now when we look at the problem they were telling us to calculate the pressure difference between a and b that pressure difference we have calculated it as minus 1569.6 newton per meter square negative therefore it is vacuum pressure and with this we have completed the problem on inverted youtube manometer